Hello everyone, my name is Olakiem and today we're going to talk about L'Hopital's rule and its application for the solution of indeterminate forms of limits. So what are indeterminate forms? These forms appear when we try to plug in values uh, which x approaches to into our limits. So there are only seven forms uh, and you can check that there are some fancy stuff uh, such as 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity uh, and this notation means actually that it's not 0 it's not just 0, it's some function that approaches to 0 the same stuff with infinity it's not just infinity, it's some function that approaches to infinity and the same with 1, it's not just 1 it's some function that approaches 1 and you can ask why as this form indetem indeterminate. For example, I just know that 1 in any power is just 1 and the same stuff with maybe infinity. 1 uh, in power of infinity is just also 1. But again, it's not just 1, it is some function that approaches 1. For example, we've got uh, two limits. Uh, limit of x over x as x approaches 0 uh, and uh, this limit in the form of 0 over 0 equals 1 uh, and the right limit of x squared over x as x approaches 0 in the form of uh, 0 over 0 and this limit equals to 0. So we've got two limits that uh, have the same form of 0 over 0 but they've got different values and the same Hold, uh, holds for all indeterminate forms so we can but we can actually solve this indeterminate forms uh, some of them using L'Hopital's rule very useful theorem what is L'Hopital's rule? L'Hopital's rule states that if we've got uh, real valid functions of f of x and g of x uh, which is which are differentiable in some uh, punctured uh, neighborhood of point A and if uh, three con additional conditions hold uh, the first one that uh, limits uh, of these functions are equal and they equals to zero or infinity the second one is that a derivative of g of x uh, is not zero in uh, this punctured uh, neighborhood of point A and uh, if uh, limit of fraction of derivatives of this functions exist then limit of fraction of uh, this functions equals to limit of fraction uh, of derivatives of these functions as x approaches point A. So uh, now let's try to use this theorem to evaluate our limits in indeterminate forms. So for example we've got a very simple uh, example ln of x over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. You can check uh, that actually ln of x as x uh, approaches 1 uh, approaches 0 and the same with x minus 1. It approaches 1. No, ah, sorry, it approaches 0. So let's try to use our L'Hopital's rule. So we differentiate uh, both functions and the uh, derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x and derivative of uh, x minus 1 is just 1. So limit of this fraction as x approaches 1 just 1. So, easy. Let's go to the second example. We've got uh, x over e in power x as x approaches infinity and you can check it out that uh, you can check that actually x that both functions approaches infinity. So we can use L'Hopital's rule. We can differentiate both uh, functions and we've got 1 over e in power x as x approaches infinity which is 0. So it is clear that if all conditions of theorem hold then it is 
not very hard to find uh, these limits. But let's go to more complicated uh, situations. So we've got um, a zero multiply infinity. Or more specifically, we've got function x uh, multiply ln of x uh, as x approaches zero from the right side. So the basic idea is to uh, bring this form into the form of a zero over zero or infinity over infinity to apply a lopsided rule. Uh, let's go and try to do this. So we've got ln of x over 1 over x. And if we try to find the limit of this fraction as 0 approaches, uh, as x approaches 0 from the right side, uh, we've got indeterminate form of uh, infinity over infinity. So let's use L'Hopital's rule. So we've got derivative of ln of x just 1 over x and derivative of uh, 1 over x is just minus 1 over x squared. And limit of this fraction as x approaches 0 from the right side is limit of minus x as x approaches 0 from the right side, which is just 0. Cool. Let's go to the, sec uh, to the, to the following example, to the next example. So we've got uh, indeterminate form of uh, 0 in power 0. Uh, let's try to manipulate this expression algebraically. So we can rewrite this as following x in power x and we've got our limit so. and we can rewrite this like this now so actually there we can go uh, with two different ways. We can uh, bring it to the form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, or we can just note that this expan uh, exp exponent function is continuous function and we know the f uh, and we know the limit of this function as x approaches 0 from the right side, which is equal to 0. So we could just say that this this whole expression that the, the limit of this expression equals to the in power limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of x ln x which is just in power 0 which is 1 so again we can do this since expon uh, exponent exponent function is continuous So, let's go further. Um, now we, uh, sorry. Now we've got even more complicated uh, situation. So we've got uh, infinity in power zero. Uh, to be more specific, we've got function x uh, in power one over x as x approaches infinity. So again, we can we have to bring it into the form of infinity over infinity or zero in, uh, over in zero. So let's try to manipulate this expression algebraically. I don't want to write limits, so I just say let's note that x. Uh, in power 1 over x is e in power ln of x in power 1 over x which is e in power 1 over x ln of x from the property of logarithms 
And I have to now uh, find the limit of this expression to find the limit of this expression as x approaches infinity. So let's try to find a limit of this expression as x approaches infinity. So 1 over x ln over x as x approaches infinity. We can note actually that uh, this limit in the form of infinity of infinity. Since uh, ln of x as x approaches infinity is going to infinity and x as approaches infinity is also goes to infinity. So we can just use Lobdell's rule. So now it's equal to 1 over x over 1 is the limit as x goes to infinity, which is just 0. Cool. So now we, ju we can just substitute uh, the limit and this value right there and we'll get that this limit, the original limit, equals to e in power 0, which is 1. Cool. Again, it's a very useful tr trick to just uh, try to evaluate these functions. So we can, but we can again uh, just bring the whole original uh, expression to the form of infinity over infinity or zero over infi or over zero. But this way is much more easier. It's just much easier. So the same procedure we can use with uh, the following um, example. So we can algebraically express this expression like this. And note that actually if we try to find limit of this expression as x approaches infinity, uh, it's the same stuff as like find um, limit of this expression and vice versa. So we can uh, find the limit of the right hand side. Note that this expression, this fraction, as x approaches infinity is going to zero. It's just zero. So what does it mean? It means that limit of x approaches infinity of x1 minus ln of x over x is just limit of x as x goes to infinity since this one is just 0 which is just infinity which means this one also just infinity yeah intuitively it is clear that x is growing much faster than uh, ln of x but more formally we got this result using Lobdell's rule. So now we've got the last example uh, and I couldn't find um, easier um, expressions for this indeterminate form so I have chosen uh, the second uh, wonderful limit so and we try to show that this limit goes to z to e um, as x approaches infinity. So let's manipulate uh, again this expression algebraically to bring in more comfortable form. So we've got e in power ln for 1 plus 1 over x in power x equals to e in power x ln 1 plus 1 over x. So now we, want, uh, we can try to find the limit of this expression as x approaches infinity. Let's do this. So note that this one So, 
As x approaches infinity, the right hand side this expression in the form of a zero of a zero. Yeah, and it is clear. So let's try to use L'Hopital's rule. So derivative of z of numerator is one over one plus one over x multiply minus one over x squared. And derivative of the numerator is one minus one over x squared. And we've got limit and also there is a limit sign it approaches infinity we've got 1 plus oh, oh, 1 over 1 uh, plus 1 over x and as x goes to infinity this one is just 1 so we just plug in this value right there and we've got that the original limit is just e in power 1, which is just e. Again, it's not a uh, real proof that um, this limit goes to to this to this value e, because uh, derivative of natural logarithm um, is like derivation of derivative of natural logarithm depend on this fact. So it's not valid proof for this, but very uh, interesting to know that this, it is true. So, but uh, L'Hopital's rule, it's not very powerful. It's powerful, but not so much. There are some situations when it doesn't work. For example, um, we've got limit of uh, x plus sine of x over x as x goes to infinity. So this limit equals to 1, but let's uh, try to use L'Hopital's rule. It is clear that um, numerator goes to infinity as x goes to infinity, the same stuff with the numerator. So let's try to use L'Hopital's rule. We've got 1 plus cosine of x over 1. and limit of this expression as x goes to infinity doesn't exist. But even if it doesn't exist, it doesn't mean that this limit doesn't exist. We know that this limit exists and it equals to 1. So yeah. L'Hopital's rule, it's very powerful tool, but it doesn't work uh, all, it, all, it doesn't work uh, in every situation. So yeah. It was very short introduction into this topic, how to use L'Hopital's rule to solve these indeterminate forms. But the basic idea is to bring all these forms into these basic forms and try to use L'Hopital's rule. Thank you very much for your attention.